Jing Wong, welcome. Thank you very much for talking to us today. No problem. Nice now, to meet you, Anne. And you, you've just been on the podium talking yes. about your entrepreneurialism with the music industry. Yes. And you know, a lot of people in culture, they're entrepreneurs. They might not realize it, but they're entrepreneurs. Yep. I want to know about your story. So you're a singer-songwriter, yes? Yep, singer-songwriter. Okay, and, but you're in, an independent singer-songwriter. Yes. So tell me about how, how, how do you manage your business? Right, um, I'm not signed like, to any existing label. Mm -hmm. So to publish an album, I forced myself to start a company which is actually not as intimidating as it sounds. I mean, a lot of musicians will think, oh, that's too much for me. Like, uh, I don't want to deal with like, all the tax or whatever. Yeah. And it's actually really cheap to, to start an, uh, what do you call that, limited company? Right. right. Yeah, and it's very cheap just to get a PR code. And then, and where do you get the money? Like, for, for example, you need to record your songs properly, then you need money. Um, Actually, nowadays it's easier because you, you can use like crowdfunding platforms. And I got enough money to pay a proper professional to mix my uh, recordings. And uh, obviously, I, I like to save money, I recorded at home myself. But obviously, like the drums, I still need to book a studio and hire some like sound engineer. But those I can all cover because I have the fund like from that crowdfunding platform. So, and I organized my own tours and... Uh, and you've just had a big tour to China. Tell me about that. Uh, I did one, actually I did two China tours in the past two years. The last one was uh, September. Okay. And this year in maybe November, I'll go again. Because I guess this is something that needs to be sustainable as a company. Because uh, it's easy to start a company, but how does it, um, how do you keep it surviving? Mm. That's the tricky part. So, uh, I go back to the same cities and uh, to find that my fan base has, like, has, has grown. And, and, and that's very encouraging, because like, so this year when I go again, I know which cities to go and which cities not to go back to. And uh, it's, a bit like, it's a bit like fashion. I mean, like, like maybe your designs are very popular in Japan, but not in Europe. Then focus your, um, uh, what do you call it? focus your, your time in Japan, like to grow your fan base there, for example. Yeah. And it's the same as a musician. So I, I, I choose cities to go tour to. And obviously, like, social media is king nowadays. Yes. So yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. So yeah. how, what, how exactly do you use social media? Uh, well, everybody who wants to be seen nowadays, especially the performance needs to be seen, uh, all your songs, if you don't have an MV, then it's virtually non-existent. Because everybody, like most people, 90% of people listen to songs on YouTube and very few people like buy albums anymore. So you need to, to um, like somehow find the money to, like however cheap, like however like, uh, um, DIY you have to come up with, a, with an MV. Uh, and then obviously like the numbers uh, you, you get on um, maybe the clicks or um, your fan page, like, music, like Facebook fan page, you need to have a certain number before PR companies will come and um, ask you to, can you perform at our Converse, like a, a launch party, something like that, or like... Uh, What's the magic number? How many clicks do they like? What are, they, what are we talking? Well, I think the basic, you need to have several thousand before people will think uh, it's worth like, investing a bit of money on you to, to uh, invite you to an event. So that at least you're not a nobody. Like uh, if you have like a few hundred, then it's nothing. Uh, at least I think if you're over three thousand, yeah, just about. Then PR companies might be interested. But um, you need to get past ten thousand or twenty thousand, then you are kind of uh, hot. And is least. this what's happened with you? You've got the clicks, and and people have invited I'm, you. I'm on the edge. I'm still on the edge. Okay. I, I guess uh, like Weibo is like the the China Twitter, yep. and on that I have like almost 6,000. So that helps me to be able to go to China and tour or, or be brave enough to go to China and tour and think that some people will come and watch me, like to pay. Is that profitable when you do the concerts? Well, I don't lose money. Okay. Uh, right now, I think it's still, it's only my second year there. So like this year, hopefully I'll start earning money. The first time I go, it's, it was just me. So I, I didn't bring a band with me. So it's much cheaper. I just have to pay for my own uh, like air tickets and also that the hotel. The second year I came, I, I went back with uh, a drummer. 
and also I have to pay my like friend who is kind of managing me in China a little bit helping so I have to pay for them as well so that time I, I almost lose not I almost lost money but somehow he like my my manager friend kind of uh, helped me to find one commercial show and and that managed to uh, more than cover like uh, what I lost and uh, actually I managed to, to be able to pay them properly too so that was lucky <laughs> but then like this year hopefully uh, if um, the audience continue to grow at the same rate it did the, the year before then this year I should be able to like um, start earning some money so hopefully that my plan is like five years in, in five years time like this is a sec like second year and like this year will be a third year and in five years time hopefully I'll be able to go and tour China once a year and then the rest of the time I cannot do anything. But it started with the crowdsourcing, the funding. That's how you started off, right? Well, it did kind of... Is that st it's like very recent. It's just okay. this year. This right. year. It, it's, it's just now and my uh, contract with the previous company uh, ended last December. But I started touring before my contract ended. Bec it's out of necessity. I, I know I need to do something. Uh, and I was still under their label, but that's when I found out that I can actually manage it myself. You know? So it's better to be independent rather than have the contract. You can. Yeah, because I have total artistic freedom, yeah. and uh, I can um, work at my own pace. I can collaborate with anyone I want, and I don't need to. Um, uh, because like people, like everyone has their own taste. A manager has their own taste. And uh, they will think the audience has certain tastes, and they will tell you uh, if you want to to be bigger or like be more popular, you have to do something some like in a certain ma ma manner. But uh, it actually doesn't work like that anymore. I mean, I, I think uh, the society has changed to an extent. You just have to be yourself enough that you're so unique that people will think you're interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank All you. All the best. Thank you very much.